And welcome back to Movie Show Plus. Greg Russell here. Got a very, very special guest, the one and only Dean Dimitrievsky. Did I get it right? You got it right. How you like that? Perfect. <laughs> I like to call Dean a friend. Also, I like to call Dean an author. Dean wrote a book, this one. And it's called Tears for My City, an autobiography of a Detroit white boy. Now, your book actually tells the story about you and your family, how when you moved here to the United States in the 1970s, what all was going on. Tell me a little bit about that when your family came here. Yeah, it's a coming of age story, you know, uh, an immigrant family moving in from Macedonia into the uh, heart of Detroit and just trying to fit in. And the, uh, that was a time where uh, gangs were taking over the city, uh, drugs was everywhere, and uh, it was just a very difficult time. And not understanding the language made it even that much harder for us as immigrants from Macedonia. And just trying to fit in, trying to be, uh, you know, just like uh, everybody else. Right. Now, when they moved in, your family moved into what we now call the Lower East Side. Yes. And like you said, in the 1970s, a lot of the guys who were your friends. Yes. Who you grew up with. By the 1980s, uh, they were kind of like into a different type of business. They sure were. They, uh, a lot of them got into the uh, the gang, the Young Boys Incorporated. And, you know, I knew a lot of them. A lot of them were my friends. We hung out, but they went their separate ways once they were doing their thing. And um, I went my separate way. My father was uh, very strict, so there was no no chance on me ever joining that gang. But, you know, we're, it's neighborhood kids. You know, you get together and you play ball. You know, But after playing football, then that's when things usually start. You know, with the uh, with the, the game right and now as we all know things begin to get a little rough definitely you know not just there but all across you know certain some areas yes uh, in the city but your family was happy they loved their home we loved it we loved it we had uh i never wanted to leave and, and really the the title tears for my city uh comes from the heart it's like tears i shed leaving the city uh we never wanted to leave the city i became a witness to a murder that happened right across the street and Details were given to me, and uh, I testified. And when you testify in Detroit, that's uh, that's a life or death sentence right there. And we had to move, and that's why I think the title is so fitting. Tears for my city is uh, actually that tears that I shed leaving the city. Great. And I never wanted to leave the city. I always wanted to come back, and and one day I think I will come back. Right. That's my dream. Think about maybe running for mayor. Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> and you heard it here first, folks. There you go. But one thing you're going to do actually before running for mayor is now you've written the book. Yes. And you've also written the screenplay and there's a lot of interest now to make this into a major motion picture. There's a lot of interest. There's a, a Hollywood, a big Hollywood director that's reading it next week and uh, we should have uh, an answer very shortly after that. So uh, it looks like it's moving in the right direction for a movie. The screenplay is complete. So not only is it a book, there's a screenplay behind it. and. It's a it's a full production at this point. Great. And I want it to be you know produced in Detroit. That's that's my dream to bring it all back to Detroit and just really tell the story, you know, through my eyes as a as a child growing up in the in the area and just really how it was. And that's also something that is very good. Like you said, by being a Detroiter, you do want the movie shot here. Yes, that's you, very important to me. Because then when people see the movie, it's like, okay, it's authentic. You know, exactly. It's actually done here. That's right. And then also, you get to incorporate a lot of the Detroit actors, you know, people in background. Absolutely. As well as having major stars. Yes. You know, absolutely. Cool. And, you know, bring everything in together. Now, your character in the movie, we're going to see him starting out as a little boy and what, going through teenage the, years. Yeah, the pre-teens and then uh, the teenage years is kind of like the, the, the bulk of the, of the story, the main focus of the story. So there'll be like a, two or three different characters that'll play that part. I was going to say, if they've got the adult you, who, who are you thinking of for the adult you? The you right now. That's a good question. What do you think? I don't know. Brad Pitt, maybe? We, we can work that in. We can work that We'll give him the script and see what he thinks and, <laughs> and bring him on board. That sounds good. That sounds good. I think that would work. Then that means he'd have to bring Angelina with him. That's right. Maybe we can put her in the screen. That would be screen great. Screen how in the movie. That would be great. We'll work on that. We'll work on that. <laughs> <laughs> Dean, thank you very much. And thank you. We're going to have you on the show periodically to always talk about what's going on with the movie. Yes, I appreciate that. Thank you very much for your time.